So a problem that I see with many of my students that are trying to start out to do short turns is moving up and down too much. I often see people coming down that they're sitting right down and then standing right up and sitting right down and standing right up. And for me, this blocks a few movements. The movement that it blocks in particular is being able to edge. If we stand up too tall, we block our legs from being able to roll over onto their edges. And if we get down too low, then we're not in a strong position. We're using our thigh muscles too much, our quads, and we're gonna start burning our quads. Another reason that I try and, you know, avoid having too much vertical motion is that you, the more that you move up and down, the more chance you have of throwing yourself out of balance. For example, if I move all the way down and all the way up, my center of mass is moving a lot. So it moves all the way back and it can move all the way forward. Really, when we're at the intermediate level, we don't want to have so much movement forward and backwards because this can throw us off in our short turns. We don't have a lot of time to do movements in our short turns because they're quick tempo. So we want to make sure that we're roughly in a position all the time that we can stay balanced. Too much excessive movement can throw us out of balance. An exercise that I like to use for avoiding excessive up and down movements or excessive extension movements is just a simple pole drag. So basically I'm holding the poles the opposite way and I have them out to the side like this and I'm just dragging them in the snow. And if I keep them dragging in the snow the whole way, it means that I'm not gonna be coming up and down too much. If I come up too much, then it means that my poles are coming off the snow. Even though this is an external cue and people say external cues are very good because you can self-coach, I do see a lot of my students that they don't realize when their pole is off the snow actually. The only way to know if our pole is off the snow, if you're not very good at kinesthetic awareness, is to actually look at your poles. But we don't want to be looking at our poles the whole time because then we're forgetting where we're going. So another way that I've found that works for a lot of people is that I want them to have a lot of tension in the poles and I want them to try and draw lines in the snow with their poles, their pole tips. So when you go down and you arrive at the bottom and you check your tracks, 
If you see two lines of the poles that have created tracks in the snow, then you know that you've dragged your poles the whole time. If you cannot see the two tracks that the poles have left, it means that probably your poles have come up. So checking your tracks, making sure that you're leaving two tracks where the pole tips are dragging. And that's gonna take a little bit of tension. You're gonna to have to push down into the snow and create some tension on the pole tips. In this way, you're gonna be sure that you're doing the exercise. To finalise this part, I don't want anyone to go away thinking that flexion and extension is bad. In fact, flexion and extension movements are an extremely important part of dynamic skiing. But like with any good movements that we want in our skiing, if they are performed at the wrong time or even over exaggerated, they can become bad movements and that can hinder our skiing. This exercise I chose is just one way to correct someone who is making excessive flexion and extension movements. There are many other ways to do this. The rest of the series will go over many other common problems with many more exercises that will either play with opposite moves or re-timing of movements or reducing the intensity to help create better skiing. Most people have a blend of a few problems, so there will be many exercises for people to practice in this series. If you're interested in following along with the rest of the program, you can do so at projectedproductions.com on our all access pass. We'll release a new episode every week, all season until the end of March. Enjoy.